And hello YouTube, GS Mam Smart here. In today's video, we're showing you how to use a new feature in Adobe After Effects to create motion graphic templates in the Essential Graphics panel, which you can then export to Premiere Pro and change those direct parameters in Premiere Pro without having to use After Effects. So you can change titles, colors, backgrounds, everything you would change in After Effects, but in an easier fashion in Premiere Pro for other editors. And hello YouTube, GS Mama Smart here. Today we're on a brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Welcome back to another video. Glad to have you. And if you happen to be new to the channel, I want to welcome you as well. And I encourage you to subscribe to the channel because we have plenty of other Adobe After Effects tutorials, video editing tutorials, image editing tutorials, audio editing tutorials, software and tech tutorials, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're interested in the type of content, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the most recent videos. Now, in the most recent release of After Effects, in the April 2017 release, we do have a new, really cool feature that makes it very easy to edit motion graphics in Premiere Pro in a very easy fashion. So, this saves a lot of time if you're working with a motion graphics artist and in a video editor if you have those two separate roles. You don't need to keep on going back and forth between the two for the motion graphic artist to change something in the After Effects file and then give it back to the video editor. This is also really great if you do like a series of videos and they all have the exact same intro you can very easily change the text or change colors in the After Effects project without actually having to go in After Effects and render it again or change things in your layers it's a very easy to do it in the essential graphics panel that is new in Premiere Pro and in After Effects so here I have a intro for a video just this main title subtitle line and then another subtitle line, and then in today's show uh, with GS. That should have said GS, but it says today's show GS. So my bad on making the error here for the title, but no difference. What we can do then is instead of going into each of these layers and picking out uh, the title here and changing the title and going into our layer here and changing the picture here, instead of doing all of that, you don't have to do all that. All you have to do is go into your essential graphics panel and drag in the parameters that you want to change, which can then be exported to Premiere Pro or can be used as easy access here in After Effects. So if you go up to Windows here and click the essential graphics button right here, you'll see a new panel comes up. And this is exactly what we want. Now, the first thing you want to do is select your main master composition that you're working on. This is my main master comp. It's total underscore comp. So on the list here, look for total underscore comp until you have it. I have it here. And we're going to name this uh, motion graphic template as main intro. I guess that's what we'll call it. That's fine. And then what you can do is if you have a lot of your effects in the same composition here, you can click solo supported properties. However, if you're working in several compositions, as you can see, I here have several compositions here. I don't have all of my effects in one composition. Then you can just go into each layer and drag the effects here. However, if you click solo compositions, all of these effects will, all of these layers will basically twirl down to their effect and you can just drag them in. However, you don't need to do that. So for one, I want to give my video editor or I want to give myself an easier option to change the color of this texture here. So I'm going to go into my texture layer and we'll go into here and here's my texture layer and I want to be able to change the color later on. So here's my parameter to change the color. I'm going to go ahead and grab this and just drag it in here. So whatever, whatever effects you have under the twirl down options here, you can just drag the effect into this box here so you can very easily change it later on. So this is my color effect that I want to change later on. I also want to change my main title and my subtext line as well. So very easily I can go into my text layer, which is right here, and I can twirl down here and go to my text and I can drag my source text into here as well. And this is for, I believe, this is for the subtext. So I'm going to title this, we're going to name it subtext main which means it's the subtext under the main title. Then I also want to grab my main title here and grab the source text, put it in here, and this is going to be my main title. Or we can just put main like that. And as you can see here, you'll be able to change 
the uh, text when, when you want to change it. But for now, we're not going to change anything. So I've given myself the option to change the color whenever I feel like it, the two uh, texts right here whenever I feel like it. But I also want to be able to change, uh, if we scrub through this, if we let this play, you'll see that it comes up. We have the green background, we have our titles, and then we move into uh, this right here. So I want to also have the option to change this main title right here, the another subtitle. And I want to have the option to change my picture here. Now, this is for a tutorials channel, but say I have this intro for all of my uh, different channels, and you'll see that I actually have several pictures. This is my tutorials channel. Here's my regular vlogging channel, the music channel, the advice channel, and the gaming channel. So say I want to be able to change the background here very easily without having to go into my layers here and, you know, unhiding one or hiding one. I can very easily do that as well. So I'll go into my layer here that deals with the backgrounds and I'm gonna go ahead and twirl down on the control slider here. There's a slider I've created with expressions that will allow me to change the background as I move the slider here or if I select a value, two, three, as you can see very easily changes. So instead of having to go into the layer and do that, I can very easily do that in the essential graphics. Then I also wanna give myself the option to change the another subtitle here. So we can very easily do that as well and in fact, I'm thinking I'm going to fix this real quick because it's kind of bugging me. So we'll put the word with there. There we go. So if I want to go ahead and give myself the option to change another subtitle here, we'll twirl down here again, go to text, and our source text effect we're going to drag here. And this is going to be the secondary subtitle. So now if I ever want to go back to this project and change something, I can very easily just drag the slider. And as you can see, it changes really quickly and very nicely. And if I ever want to change the main title here, I can do that as well. Or another subtitle, I can go ahead and grab this and put another subtitle 222 after it. And you'll see that that actually changes. So it's actually a really cool way to save yourself some time. And it makes it a lot easier to just change things within After Effects if you're working in After Effects. But the really awesome part is that if you happen to have a video editor or if you do your own video editing and you're going to be using this project for all of your videos in the future for a series, you can go ahead and click this little button right here that says Export Motion Graphics Template. And when you click that, you'll have the option of saving this template and you want, you want to go ahead and save to your CC library, to the Creative Cloud library, or you'll have the option to save it to the Premiere Pro uh, essential graphics panel directly to that directory but it'll ask you to save it first and once it finishes saving after going through a bunch of loading bars you'll have the option to save this template somewhere so you can save this in either your library in your local drive or in the essential graphics panel I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my library and we're gonna go ahead and press OK now your library is gonna be connected to your creative cloud license and it'll be in your CC library and you can go and press the OK button and that will save this to the Creative Cloud. Then if we jump over to Premiere Pro now and if we happen to start a new project or we were working on a project already or we want to use this intro here. So I just created a blank project real quick for the purpose of this tutorial. You go up to Windows now and you click Essential Graphics and you'll see a new panel also comes up. And in this new panel, you can head to libraries here, my libraries. And would you look at that? Here is our main intro. And all we got to do is create a quick little sequence. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a black video real quick. And we'll drag this onto the timeline here. And now what you'll see, we can actually drag our template here onto the timeline. We can keep the current settings. That's fine. It might uh, look a bit smaller. We can always rescale. So now once I've dragged it into the timeline here, uh, it takes a bit to load everything, but once you basically have it in here, you'll have a folder here and you can drag your intro into the timeline here if the other way over here doesn't work. Sometimes this can be finicky, so you use the folder here instead and you can drag essentially the exact same thing. But then we can go to the edit tab over here and you'll see that we can now have the option to change everything that we had in After Effects very easily. So for example, if we want to change the color here, we double click the color. Say we want to change it to a blue. We press OK, and when you look at that, it turned blue very easily. If we want to change the text, for example, such as the main title, we can do Tutorials with GS, and if we click anywhere else, you'll see that change is really cool now as well. If we want to change the subtitle here, 
we can write a great YouTube tutorial and it changes as well. And if we scrub forward a bit into the second part of our motion graphics, you'll see here we have our slider again and we can change another type if we wanted to, but here we have our slider for our background and if we want to change it to another background, for example, we move the slider forward and there we have our second background. So it's really easy to dynamically change things from After Effects within Premiere Pro with this new Essential Graphics panel. And I think it's one of the best things that came out of this April 2017 release. And I'm definitely going to be using this a lot because I do a lot of work for clients that deal with uh, intros and changing small things in the intro. And I don't, and I don't want to have to keep on going back in After Effects and changing these things. I can very easily do it here in Premiere Pro where I do the bulk of my video editing work anyway. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you found it informative. And if you found anything confusing, you didn't know how to do something, leave a comment down below in the comment box. I'll definitely be down there answering any questions you have. If you have a tutorial request, you you can leave a comment down below as well and i'll definitely try to get to that too if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and subscribe we have plenty of other tutorials on after effect premiere pro photoshop audition and if you don't happen to have the adobe products we have tutorials on gimp we have tutorials on movie maker audacity all kinds of cool stuff including tech tutorials too so i think you'll find it very helpful make sure you like this video as well and if you want to check out a recent video that i did go ahead and click the annotation here if you want to check out a similar video to this click the annotation here if you want to check out my other channels such as the vlogging gaming advice channel click the annotation here and if you want to donate a dollar to my patreon page you can click the annotation here that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching as always and this is gsm smart and i'll be back soon you think don't go anywhere